Zions, Sydney, Catherine, Zeno. Hey, congratulations for Transformers Earth Spark on Paramount Thank Plus. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's start off with that easy question. What makes Transformers such an enduring, you know, franchise for all these years? I'll, I'll start with Catherine. Um, I think this idea of uh, there's always a, a human connection there and there's always this need to do good and and this desire to to be more than than what you you know what you think you can what you think you can do and I think having those aspirations and everyone can relate to those kinds of things um, really pushes this franchise for had and has been for decades. And I think especially right now with Earth Spark and having this beautiful story of this family dynamic that we've never really, really seen before um, in the Transformers series of, you know, these, these bots and these kids coming together and really forming like a family of their own. Um, and that love that, that comes together with that, that growth and understanding each other um, is something that everyone can relate to and everyone wants. How about you, Sid? Uh, I definitely say people will be able to relate to the family aspect for sure. I feel like that's a through line through all of the Transformers series and, you know, uh, movies is that later there's a bond and connection between uh, people and bots that you normally wouldn't see, but that you come together because of the love of wanting to, you know, protect usually the entire earth. So I think you're going to see the same bond and love and uh, familial sense here. Do you know? Yeah, I think uh, uh, Transformers is such an enduring franchise because there's something very appealing about like uh, hidden robot cars that transform into humanoid robots. And then there there's this like, lore that I think is attached to a lot of enduring franchises like uh this 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 kind of insane lore about these two robot factions on this robot planet that can uh and now they like must acclimate to a new kind of environment because of the consequences of that war and how similar but different like both humans and robots are like there's that kind of connection of we're all the same um uh and i think it's just i, I just think it's also just cool like it's just it's just really cool like <laughs> watching a robot transform into a car or like a a, a alligator or like a, a plane it's it's there's something i think appealing about that magic of uh and the uh the sound effects of of the spectacle of, of that. Zion, I'm, I'm letting you uh, answer this one last, but you are the youngest. You haven't been around for decades, but what? <laughs> tell, tell us why, why you would love this. I feel like I would love this because, yeah, it's, also, it's really cool seeing the Transformers transform into different things, like Xena was saying. But I also love how it's kind of like there's a secret part of you that you got to transform and let out, I guess, kind of. And I love that now the new Transformers Earth Spark, it's including diversity and family. Um, so I think it's really cool because of all of those factors. Wow, that is well said. And 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 one more thing is uh, just real fast is, do you guys have your own favorite Transformers um, in, in this franchise? Zion, why don't you start? I'll go backwards. Favorite Transformers? That's a hard question. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Favorite Transformers. I'm I'm gonna have to say. I'm gonna say Bumblebee because he's he's so it's so cool. It's like Bumblebee transformer and he transforms and he like saves the world, and he's like, hi guys, I'll so I'll help out. So my favorite character would be Bumblebee. Zeno. Um, I'm I'm actually agreed with Zion. I think my favorite is 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 Bumblebee. I like the kind of the the smaller underdog, uh, you know, Optimus is the big leader and he's super cool, but I think Bumblebee is kind of more of an underdog kind of character, which I'm always very attracted to, like the uh, the kind of the smaller guy who kind of has to outwit or outsmart or outspeed his opponent. I like really fast characters too. So I, I want to say Bumblebee as well. Sydney? 
Ah, uh, uh, it's definitely between Jazz and Bumblebee. Jazz does not speak much, but I, I just like Jazz. He just seems really cool. But Bumblebee as like, you know, someone that's just getting her first car would be so awesome for Bumblebee to be my first car to like help me drive through LA. I don't know, to like maybe help me do well on a test or something. Bumblebee is really great at just coming through at those last moments when you need them, especially during this age there are a lot of last moments where you're like, I completely forgot this or that. So Bumblebee would definitely come in clutch. So it's between those two for sure. And Catherine, last word. Twitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Twitch for sure. But also if I were, I'm going to be boring and say Bumblebee because I really wanted to give Bumblebee like a cuddle mm -hmm. in, in that first movie. I was like, I just want to hold you. Um, but yeah, Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And Bumblebee's the answer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much.